So we're going to go ahead and solve a good old fun ramp tension pulley type problem, a classic problem in like any type of physics or AP physics or college physics course in mechanics. Cool. So for this example, we have a six kilogram block pulls a five kilogram block up a ramp. The coefficient of friction between the block and the ramp is 0 0.5 by an acceleration of the five kilogram block. Okay. So we're going to use our Newton second law step to solve this problem. So first thing I want you to do, draw a free body diagram for this situation, um, and then we'll check back in. Okay, so for this problem, let's see, we have gravity acting on the five kilograms. The force of gravity is what, 50 newtons. We have our normal force pushing up. We have tension in this rope. Oh, and we also have friction between the surface. So then there's force of friction pulling down because the object, the system is moving that direction. Cool. So then we have, for the six kilogram, we have gravity pulling it downwards, which we know gravity will be 60 newtons. And then we have tension fighting against it, kind of wanting to pull it back up, even though it's not going to be strong enough in this case to do that. Cool. So we drew a free body diagram. Now let's do our coordinate system. So for any problem involving pulleys, we say the direction the system moves is the positive direction. So I'm going to say up the ramp is the positive direction um, because it, the block, the five kilogram block is moving up the ramp and then down for the six kilogram block is the positive direction. So any forces that are along the direction of the rope, so along this direction, are considered the x direction. Okay, so now let's go ahead. So we did our coordinates. So now let's see if we need to break any forces into their x or y components. So right here for the six kilogram, gravity and tension are both in like the rope direction, which let's just call that the x direction. So we're good on that. For the ramp, okay, we have tension and FF in the x direction. F, and so let's go ahead and draw that. So this is the x direction. Perpendicular is the y direction. We'll say upwards is positive. X right there. Cool. Okay. Gra gravity is a tricky one. That's not pointing just parallel to the ramp or just perpendicular to the ramp. That's both. So we're going to need to split that into our x and y components. So we know that this angle is 20 degrees. And then FGY is going to be this one which I know FGY is going to be, that is adjacent FG, so that's going to be 20 cosine of 50 degrees. Oh my goodness, silly mistake. Uh, 50 cosine of 20. Don't make a silly mistake like me. Well, go ahead and do it. It's okay. 50 cosine of 20 degrees, which when I plugged that in my handy dandy calculator, I got 46.98 newtons, while FGX is going to be 50 sine of 20 degrees, which is going to be 17 point, what is it, 1 newtons approximately. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and redraw my free body diagram for the 5 kilogram because there's a lot going on. So again, this free body diagram that I'm going to draw, this is for thinking purposes only. So, and it's super important for thinking purposes. We have Fn, we have Fgy. We have tension pulling upwards. We have friction pulling back right there. And then we also have, what is it? We also have FGX, which is going to push it back down the ramp. Cool. So we have all these good old forces. Uh, and again, this is our X direction. So tension, um, force of friction, and FGX. Cool. So now we're going to go ahead and just write out Newton's second law and be careful with signs. So I'm going to go ahead and start, and I'm going to do this for the six kilogram first. So for this six kilogram, we have, let's see what forces we have acting on this six kilogram. We have, so this is like F net is going to be what? FG, we said, is going downwards, positive direction. So it's going to be FG minus tension. Okay, so F net is always MA, which is FG we knew was 60 minus T. So then MA is going to be 6A equals 60 minus T. Cool. So we have one equation for the 6 kilogram. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the 5 kilogram. Okay, so for the 5 kilogram, let's see, we have um, 
go ahead and write that out. I'm going to write it up here where I have a little more space. So we have F net X. Again, we're only looking at the direction it is accelerating in. So let's see, we have in that direction, we're looking at these three forces. So we have F or tension force, which is pulling it up the ramp, minus force of friction, which is pulling it down, minus FDX. Cool. So we wrote out Newton's second law. Now let's go ahead, go on to step number four, plug in the variables. I already did that for the fifth kilogram. So F net we know is MA. Tension, we don't know what that is. Minus FF, which is, we don't know, but I know the equation for FF is mu times FN. Minus FGX, which I found was 17.1. Cool. So then let's plug things in. So MA is 5A equals tension minus mu is what? 0.5 times normal force. Okay, so let's think about what normal force is. If it was like on a flat surface and there's nothing extra pushing up and down, it would be 50 newtons. But it is on an inclined plane. And we know that it's not moving in the y direction on the inclined plane. So FGY and FN have to be balanced out. So they have to be equal in this case. So FN is going to be 46.98, which is what we got for FGY. Cool. So then minus 17.1. Okay, so let's simplify this a little. So we have 5A equals T minus, this is about 23, minus 17.1. Let's simplify that a little. So it's 5A equals T minus, what is that? 40 point, yeah, is that right? 40.1. Okay, I apologize. I was a little bit lazy with my math. I should put this as this is about 23.49. Um, so when we combine these two, we'll get it to be about 40.59, around 40.6, whatever. Cool. So now we have this equation too. So now let's think about how we combine those two equations. Cool. We can go ahead and use good old substitution elimination. So fun. Um, so we're just going to add these equations together. Oh my goodness, I love it. So we have 6a equals what? 60 minus t. And then we have 5a equals t minus 40.59. Cool. Let's go ahead and add those together. So 6a and 5a is 11a. We have 60 minus 40.59, which is going to be what is that? Let's see. So that'll be what? 19.41. Cool. That makes sense. Go ahead and solve for acceleration, and I'm getting around 1.76 meters per second squared. And our answers might be slightly different because of rounding. Cool. Thanks for watching. Um, cool. And one little thing I'll add if we want to solve for tension, we can go ahead and plug acceleration back in and then solve for tension in either equation, and tension should be the same in either equation.